Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and possibly good night, you lovely people. My name is Ritzy Biscuit, and welcome to the Old Tree. Um, this is going to be part of a kind of mini series that I'm doing on um, free games. So this game is completely free. Um, it was released in February 2012, and it was made by Red Dwarf Games. Um, and as of today, it has um, very positive as its review, and it's just shy of 3,000 reviews. So, my understanding of it is that um, we play the life, or the first stages of a young alien's life. So, let's see what happens. Um, lights moving. What if we? Okay, just poke the poke the red light. Eggs, maybe the obvious one. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. Huh. Okay. So it's kind of like a, uh, you just kind of click on stuff in the environment. Like, I'm not moving arrows right now or anything. It's just kind of crawling along on a track. Interesting. I like the music. It's very spooky. So I guess I click on another red thing. Yep. Go that way. The uh, animation is really interesting, eh? It's sort of like claymation, or it's like clay that is claymation, <laughs> or being shot in claymation, but I bet you it's like Blender or something. Really interesting. Oh, I've got little antennas! That's fun. Ooh, it's dark. Oh. It feels very, um, Samuel Row, doesn't it? Whoa! Okay. Oh, water. Uh, oh, I see. I have to knock down the bug. I bet you anything. It's very Samuel Row. I like the art style. Come on, little bug. Come on. Yeah. Whoa. Alright. What now? What now? If I poke him, is he going to let it go? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Um. These guys just released um, a different game as well. Um, which I honestly can't remember the name of right now. Shit. I did have it in my mind, and now it's gone. What a cute little game, though. Go, little bug, go! What are we gonna do with you? Where do we drop that? Not there. That was useless. I assume something to do with this guy. This dude. Can't click on the bug. Can't click on me. Give you that. The, um, shifting of the screen is interesting. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> nice! Very Samuro. I like it. It's a cockroach, is ish, 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 ish kind of thing. Whoop! Fuck! Oh! <laughs> Oi! It's an elevator. Nice. The music is great. Very um, good atmosphere. It's a little, I feel like, a little bit more ominous than they were maybe going for. Nice. Look at me go. Did I do it? Oh, was it not right? The buttons haven't popped up yet. Oh. Interesting. I really enjoy this. This is kind of one of those, um... 
well, I would argue, is one of those sort of gameplay experiences that you're not quite sure if it is an ex like if it's really a game. I guess it's a puzzle game. It's very Sam overall. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm very engaged. There we go. Follow it. Yeah. Huh. I really like. I kind of look like an apple. I'm not gonna lie. Or like an egg that's gone off. That's probably what it is. It was just an egg that went off and grew legs. <laughs> Come on, buggy. Oh. Ooh. That looks bad. Like bad times. Uh, if I turn that off. No. 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 Can you help me? No. Clicking everywhere. Click. Whoa. Clicking. There. Interesting. Hmm. What a pretty little game. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> There's not much to talk about with the game right now, I feel. The art style is really interesting. Um, it's just a puzzle game, so. Hmm. Going up here, clicking, 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 clicking. What can I click on? Where's a thing to click on without clicking on the X in the top of the screen? <laughs> what is this? Let's do that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, well, if you did. I'm just mostly happy the game didn't crash on me. This computer is really on its last little legs. Um, I don't know what's wrong with that. I think the RAM might be going. What do I click on? What? What do I click? I'm clicking everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, there we go. Yeah, good game mechanics would not allow me to have to click for very long because the game has not set me up to look that hard. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Go, go, go. So I don't know if there's a lot of, like, story around this or if it's just kind of you are an alien. Oh, see, they don't look like me. Very humanoid. Meat. Meat. I killed a bug. I probably have to kill the bug on the meat. <laughs> He's like, whatever. A carrot. Okay, is there going to be another bug? Whoa, that's going to be hard. Maybe I'm not waiting long enough. Look at the sky outside floating by. That's interesting. Else to click on. Oh. Nope. You stole it. <laughs> you stole the meat. Okay, maybe. Do I just have to not let him get all the food then? I just have to like make sure that all the ingredients go in? We'll see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now it's safe. Ah, oh, what a easy little game mechanic. Now I wonder why, or what I am. It's very odd, as you know, a creature to be leaving my nest in this fashion. So I wonder if this isn't a hospitable place for a little old alien baby like me. Let me click on stuff. No, you're just gonna keep on, keep on rolling. What is this? A change room? Weird. Go on in. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw these at you. There. Huh. I think this game in particular is very much about kind of the journey. Um. 
like the experience over the gameplay. I was just about to say, because these puzzles don't seem hard. <laughs> now I don't know. Oh. There. Off you trot. Oh, more water. I see. Okay, we'll take that off. There. It's fine now, right? Where am I supposed to go? Click, 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 because they've been, like, hiding some stuff. There we go. See that? You happy with that? No? Okay. Well, maybe now I add the water. So I can swim up. Oh, now there's no water. Interesting. Okay, so I can't open that when it's full of water. I'm confused why my little guy isn't just... Oh! Maybe if I open the door for him. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Did I... Did I leave you outside? Okay, close that. Lock that. Lock that? Drown you? Is this the answer? Whee! Boink. Excellent. Doors open. There you go. Off you trot. Yeah. I wonder where we're going. Like, what's the... Why did we leave the nest? Do we have, like, parents? Like, parent apple monsters? Or... Like, you know? Oh, I'm so curious about the story. Why am I here? What's going on? Whoa. What, like, kind of planet is this? Is it, like, hospitable to creatures of apple shape? <laughs> or am I trying to get a way to, like, survive? Do I even know? Like, my does my character even know? What do we do here? Clicking, 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 clicking. There's things up there. Oh. A thing happened. It's very hard to see. Uh, I hope it's not... I may lighten this up a little bit in post-production. I don't want it to be too dark on YouTube. Because I can barely see some of this. Ooh. Oh, we're outside, I think. Wow. Oh, it's a tree. What are you doing, little buddy? Whoa, it's a dandelion. Oh, we're like a little spider. <gasps> hmm. Aw. Well, take this off. Okay, well, that was the game, guys. Um, I knew it was going to be short because it was a free game, right? I'm, I don't have my timer up, so I'm hoping we got about 15 minutes here. Um, what a cute little game. Um, so they have created a new game. Um, it's a buy game, like a, a you pay for it kind of game. Um, I don't support them <laughs> if you liked this video go maybe take a look at their game you know um i will for sure that was they told a really i don't know if they told a story but they really have a good sense of atmosphere i would say um like they the music was really cool in that game and um i think there's definitely a lot of potential there this was 2012 as i said so 
been a few years, so I'm very I would be very curious to see um what their new game is like. Um Yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna Um I would be very curious to know what their new game looks like. Um and if they've kind of continued to play into um the puzzles and like if they've made the puzzles a little bit more challenging maybe a little bit longer the new game is not based on this game uh to my knowledge um this game is a standalone um but it's i think it's a good example of what they can do the it was a very different looking art style similar to samuel row but with the um sort of claymation in there it was very interesting very interesting way of doing it so there we go um yeah I liked it. Did you guys like it? I hope so. It was a short game, um, but I think it told an interesting story. Like I was saying, I was like, well, I want to know more about this character, and like, why am I like escaping the tree? And like, uh, we didn't really find out it was a tree until the end. It's like, well, who are these other characters? And you know, why was there a cockroach sitting in a lobby? And like, I was able to like get past it. You know, like, that was it's very interesting. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't have much else to say about the game. Um, if you liked this game, definitely support the developer, uh, Red Dwarf Games. As I mentioned, they do have a new game out, so or coming out. Um, so I'll get I'll get the link for you guys um, and put that in the description. So if you want to check out their new game, which I think you should, definitely support these guys. Um, then that link is there for you. All right. But um, other than that. Uh, if you liked this video, don't forget to double tap the like and subscribe buttons to keep the zombies away. And until next time, stay happy, my friends. Farewell.